Uh, welcome. It's a great opportunity to talk to uh, our DSE, MFB and CFA firefighters about preparedness for the 2011-2012 fire danger period. And obviously through uh, preparedness, you'll get an understanding of the risk and potential of this season. It's not only about preparedness of the fire service, it's also about preparedness of other agencies in the community, which is quite fundamental. One of the things that I uh, wanted to talk about was the fact that um, some things have changed. And one of those is the fact that uh, We've got new legislation in place that sees the Fire Service Commissioner uh, have the overall control of uh, response to major fires. That's a very important. It's, uh, it's been there now for over 12 months, but I think a lot of people may not understand the extent of it, and I encourage people to reflect and review um, Section 16 of the Emergency Management Act. As part of that, obviously, I've performed the role as the State Fire Controller, and in doing so, I work very closely with the, uh, the Chief of CFA, MFB and DSE as a team, what we call the State Fire Control Team and I lead that team and I, I welcome the opportunity to work very closely with Ewan, Ewan and Shane. Uh, we meet on a regular basis, but more importantly on days of, uh, of uh, extreme and code red fire danger, we'll be together as a team at the State Fire Control Centre to ensure that leadership is provided. The other thing that I want to emphasise is the, the State Controller's strategic intent, are a set of control priorities that we've now published, that there are six of them, they are not in a hierarchical order, but I'll run through them in a, in a priority sense. Primacy of life is number one. And when we talk about primacy of life, it's protection of life, uh, not only to firefighters and emergency workers, but the community. And when we say the community, we extend that to visitors, tourists, and vulnerable community members. So it's a total uh, focus on the importance of life. The second uh, priority is that of issuing information to the community and also community warnings. And the words we use in there is that information should be timely, relevant and tailored to assist people make decisions about their safety. So it's emphasising the shared responsibility and shared obligation, but it's also emphasising the fact that incident controllers leading their incident management teams need to focus on information that can go out and assist community members. Very important. And obviously the, uh, the strategic control priorities also go into the protection of critical infrastructure and community assets. It talks about the protection of residential property, it talks about the, the economics and the livelihood of uh, people out there that may be affected by a fire, and also the environmental and conservation assets and values. So thank you, and I encourage everyone to be well prepared for what will be uh, an unknown fire season in some respects, but there's no doubt that Victoria is one of the most fire prone parts of the world and it only takes one afternoon to lose so much in such a little time in Victoria.